All right, guys, quick video for you. Um, turning the chest freezer into a refrigerator, super easy. You do not have to cut any power lines, any power cords. Um, this is temporarily hooked up just for the purpose of this video and to test it because I'm just hooking mine up myself. I just wanted to make sure I know exactly which way I wanted to hook it up. There's a few different ways you can do it. Um, this is gonna be your easiest way. Um, it's very straightforward once you find out which wires are which. All right, so I'm gonna try to do the best I can so you guys don't get lost. All right, this is a Magic Chef refrigerator. There's a power cord back there, the white cord. Um, there's three wires in that cord. They are black, white, green. Green is earth, um, white is neutral, black is your hot wire. Um, those wires go into the unit, into the starter box. They come out different colors on this refrigerator. In On the Magic Chef refrigerator, your hot wire, which in that in that cord is black comes out brown your neutral wire that's in that cord which is white comes out blue so when you come over here the hot wire goes into the thermostat which is your brown wire goes in on that prong right there it goes in brown it goes into the thermostat it comes out black all right now this unit right here is super easy um, terminal number one and two are just to power the unit. You need to get a hot wire and a neutral wire. Hot wire goes into number one, neutral goes into number two. All that does is allow the unit to turn on. That's it. That's all it does. But you also need power to number seven. So you splice it. So what happens is this thermostat right here, it's as it switches it allows it shuts power on and off which turns your refrigerator on and off so power goes in and then power comes out it can turn on and off this seven and eight does the same exact thing this is your new thermostat power goes in on seven it it turns off on and off and it comes out on eight all right so you see i have hot going into number one i branched it off to go into number seven to make the new thermostat. And number eight, it comes out of, which is your black wire. Super easy. Number two, which is my this red wire right here, is neutral. Now this is where people usually cut their power cord and take that white wire out of there. Um, you don't need to cut the power cord. You have these lights right here. You can see my lights still work. And that's because there are already power on the two powers on the bottom of each light and two neutrals coming out the top of each light. So you can just take the neutral from the top of the light, which is what I did. So you can see right here, temporarily, I'm just stealing that neutral. These three connections right here, I'm just stealing it. So I plugged in a, a, a red wire, I brought it here, and then I plugged in twice, which allows my light to still work and it also allows me to steal the neutral and bring it over to terminal number two to get this thing to turn on. All right. So really easy, uh, one more time. So you got hot going into that back prong and then hot coming out of that prong. The thermostat turns on and off. All right, so on the Magic Chef, they go in brown, they come out black. Um, you need that right here, that's number seven and number eight. So terminal number seven right there and terminal number eight is right here, seven and eight, seven and eight. All right, so if there's a wire going in seven and coming out eight, it needs to go in seven and come out eight. This right here, you're just stealing power. That's all it is. It's not. It's not. It's nothing magical or anything like that. You just need to get power so you can turn the unit on. You need negative or neutral so you can you know complete that circuit so the unit gets turned on. All right, so you got power going in, power coming out, power going in power coming out in terminal number two neutral I'm stealing that off the top of my light bulb so you got hot on the bottom neutral on the top hot on the bottom neutral on the top I'm stealing you can steal it from either one steal it from this one steal it from that one it doesn't matter they're all the same thing which is what this is I just stole it from the top I stole it from the top of this light um, and by rehooking everything up you still have a run light that turns on and off, and the refrigerator plate still functions 
as it normally would, just the thermostat no longer works because instead of it going plugging in there and coming out there, I'm plugging in here and coming out there. So this is my new thermostat. Um, the earth wire, which is your green wire plugged into the bottom of the thermostat right there, you can just leave it like that. You don't need it for this STC, F, STC controller. Um, I just left mine on there. You don't, you don't, it still works without it. You don't need it. It's only to, you know, ground that switch out, but this doesn't need that. I went through, already set everything. I have the temperature sensor in there. Everything is working great. It's at 55.9 degrees right now. Um, now what I have to do is take all this back apart. Um, then I'm going to properly hook all of this stuff up. Because this was just for the, for the video that I did this. Because I watched so many videos on the computer where people are doing this and they show you their chest freezer and then they flip to, voila, it's working. That's it, that's all they show you. And you're like, what the hell? So um, this should be enough to, to get anybody going on this. I, I'm trying, it's a, it's a little bit of a jumbled mess over here, but I'll go through one more time just so you guys um, can know what's going on. All right, so power goes in the refrigerator, in the freezer, into the box, and it comes out, all the wires come out into the, through this black harness thing. Except they don't come out um, white, black, and um, green. They come out different colors. So on this refrigerator, you take a volt, once this, turn on your, be careful when you guys do this. You can get electrocuted doing this stuff. But you get yourself a voltmeter, because if you don't know what's what, you need to find out what wire is what. Now, a really easy way to do this and find out what wire is what without having to use a voltmeter is, you know, process of elimination. Um, you have a power switch and a run switch. Now, the run light only comes on when the fridge is operating. The power light is always on. So all you have to do is go to the power light and find out, see, like, on this refrigerator, you find out your neutrals are the top ones because there's a wire going from this top right over to this top of this light. Um, so you know that that's not your power wire, otherwise both of them would always be on. So you know that the bottom wire on this power, because it's always lit up, the bottom wire is your hot wire. You just trace it back and see what color it is. If you trace this wire back, you see that it's brown. So that's an easy way to find out where your hot wire is. Find your power light that's always on, because you know it always has hot, because it's always on. Find out what's different, you know? If it's going to be connected to the other light, so you're going to have a neutral here and a neutral there. So find out which wire goes to both of them, and you know that's not it. And then the leftover wire is going to be your hot wire. So I trace that back. I see that it's brown. And then if you look at the bottom of the run light, that one is black. So I know that the black wire that comes out of that terminal is is uh, going to the run light. I know that the power go is brown. It goes into that side. So my brown wire goes in. It comes out black, and it goes to that run light, which allows that light to turn on. It's really easy to figure out which wire is which. If you just use your brain and uh, process of elimination, just f just remember what does what, because there's always signs, you know? If your power light always stays on, you know that it always has power. If your run light only turns on when the when the freezer's on, you know that one w the wire on the back of that is going to be connected to the switching side of the thermostat. Um, or... If you don't want to do it that way and you can't figure it out, you just get a voltmeter and put it on the, the proper setting to test this stuff. You put the black side to that green wire down there, the earth wire, and then tap the red side to anywhere. Tap it. I tapped right there and tap right there. It, when the refrigerator's on, as soon as you tap the hot one, it's going to show you on your voltmeter that you have 48 volts on this refrigerator. It's, you really, if you're doing it on the outlet, you're going to obviously have like 119, 120 volts. The way these refrigerators are set up, you only have 48 volts. So I tapped around, and boom, that, that one right there gave me 48 volts. So I knew that was my hot wire, the brown wire. But I also knew already because it was on the bottom of the power switch. Once you find out that, you're good to go. Um, so you just do it with a voltmeter and you guys be very careful when you're doing this. Um, I'm over here like this is on right now. My refrigerator is on. It's cooling. Um, I'm over here touching wires and making, uh, making it look like a little bit careless. That's only because I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, you can get electrocuted doing this stuff. You can kill yourself doing this. Um, these wires right now are all hot. They all have you know, outlet voltage running through them. Um, if you don't know what you're doing and you touch the wrong wire, you're going to zap yourself. 
So make sure you hook everything up when the unit's off and uh, then turn the unit on once you retrace everything, double check your work. And uh, I mean, worst case scenario, these freezers have an overload protection. So if you hook it up wrong, the unit's just gonna, you know, either not come on or it's gonna go click, 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 a whole bunch of switching of the relay. And then your overload protection is gonna shut your refrigerator off so you don't harm the unit. And in about a minute or two, it'll allow you to turn it back on. If it does that, don't turn it back on. Disconnect everything and start over again. Um, otherwise, you're gonna damage your unit. So yeah, that's it, guys. So hot wire goes to number one, gets branched off, goes to number seven. The wire that you find out is coming out of your thermostat, so you have hot going in. The one that's coming out goes to number eight. Number two is neutral, this red wire. You can get it from a neutral off this light, off that light, off the white from the power cord, if splice into it, and uh, hook up all those, you know, put a wire cap on them and just take it from there. This is a lot easier. You don't have to cut any cords doing it this way. And that's it. Your temperature sensor probe goes in three and four. It doesn't matter which wire goes in which. It, the polarity is doesn't matter. So you can put in, just put it in three, put one in three, and then one in, in four, and then tighten those down. If I said three and six, I apologize. It's three and four. So temperature sensor is three and four. It doesn't matter which way they go in. Any wire, any hole, doesn't matter. Tighten them down. So you got power number one, also branched off to number seven. Neutral is in number two. Thermostat, which is going to be your thermostat that goes out, comes out of eight. So you got you know power going in. It's this is your new thermostat and power coming out. And that's it, guys. Very simple. You hook all this stuff back up. You have uh, your lights still work. Cut a hole in the bottom of your fridge. Mount this bad boy in there. Uh, follow the instructions to learn how to set all your parameters and uh that's it it's it's as simple as that i hope i didn't forget anything i hope you guys can uh follow this video and uh makes it easy on you i'm just trying to remember before i shut this video off if i forgot anything so you the green wire that's on the thermostat you can leave that doesn't matter um yeah number two is you need neutral on number two which is your white wire in there mine does not come out white it goes in white and it comes out blue these neutral wires on the top of these switches they look like they're black because that's there's insulation on them they're blue wires you see it right there they are blue those are neutral on this refrigerator they go to the top of the lights they are blue so your neutral is not always going to be your white wire but you know you can figure out what's neutral by figuring out you know if you know a little bit about electronics you can know that power has to go in one side of a light and it has to come out neutral on the other side that's how you complete the circuit so if you find out what's hot you can know that no matter what the other wire is your neutral wire once you find out what neutral is just mark on a little piece of paper what what color your refrigerator uses uh, for your power wire find out what's hot mark what color it is and then after you find that stuff out, it's, uh, you know, easy peasy from right there. You know, you just hook it all up and you're good to go. All right, guys. If you have any questions, just ask me and I'll, you know, let you guys know how, how to do it. All right. Hope this helps.